Genesis. Third chapter, verse 11, and read. And it said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I command thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to me with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. The woman, uh, verse 13, And the Lord said unto the woman, What is thus thou have done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Romans chapter 1, verse 20, and it read, For the invisible thing of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. I like to make mention that the first man or shall I say God gave the man instruction and then the man when he commits sin God went to the man first and asked him what have thou done and then he went to the woman second and came to the woman and say what you have done and then he went to the serpent. And a certain God told the serpent, You're going to be above all the creatures. You're going to crawl on your belly and you shall eat dust, and dust shall thou return. So today I like to use so that they are without excuse. Yes, we are all, all without excuse. Now, 10 reasons why you can't blame people, place, or things for your sin. Ten reasons why you can't blame people, place, or thing for your sin. And we see that God have instructed Adam and Eve of every tree of the garden you shall eat, but for, but for the forbidden tree you should not eat. For the day you eat it, you shall surely die. So my question to the YouTube family is you can blame people, place, or thing for your sin. We can't blame nobody because we are given all given a charge for sin or not to sin. Glory to God. Hey, God, God gave us ten commandments and the first five is toward God and second five is to thy neighbor. But how many people are holding up to the Ten Commandments? How many people are holding up to charge? Because ten reasons why we can't blame people, place, or thing for our sin. We can't blame nobody but yourself. When we stand before God, we're going to stand before God as an individual. We're going to stand before God naked before God. And God going to hold us responsible. That's why, my friend, don't let people make you sin against God. Don't let opinion make you sin against God. Glory to God. That's why you got to read the Bible for yourself. Glory to God. Be like the church of of. Uh, that that the study to show that self approved unto God. Be like the church that's that search the scripture where the thing were of God and what Paul was preaching. We can't blame nobody for our sin. It's according to you. When when God gave us charge, he gave us charge as an individual. So I'm telling you that number one, we can't blame people for our sin. We have a choice to choose or refuse to sin. Number two, we can't blame our position, whether you are a pew member or a preacher, or, or we all are given accountability for our sin. We can't blame friends indulging or falling away from the priority of living right. For we can't blame or as you excuse of falling away from God's principle of righteousness. And five, we can't blame our pastor lifestyle or influence our walk 
with the word of God. We can't blame the pastor. We can't say the pastor make me do it. No, my friend. You can't even be like Flip Wilson. The devil makes me do it. Because the devil can't force you to do it. Glory to God. Number six, we can't even blame the polit politician arena of living on holy lifestyle such as adultery, fornication, homosexuality, or lesbian. We can't blame the politician. Glory to God. Number seven, we can't even blame our parents since you are adult living in their home, since they are, since you are grown now, no more church, but living free, living a life of I can do what I want to do. Glory to God. And and leave wholeness out of the way. We can't even blame our parents because our parents, my, they gave it. The Bible says, train a child in the way it should, it should, it should get. When she train a child in the way it should go. When it get old, should not depart from it. So God have give parents the responsibility of training you since you was a youth. But now since you get old now, you should forget about God. Forget about the church. I can do what I want to do. I can go where I want to go. So God hold each individual as responsible. You can't say my mama didn't take me to church. That's why I'm living the life I'm living. You can't blame your mama. You can't even blame your daddy. I see my daddy smoke. That's why I smoke. No, I see my daddy drink. That's why I drink. I see my daddy wearing earring. That's why I wear earring. I see my daddy is is acting kind of funny. That's why. No, you can't blame your parents. Is according to you as an individual because we must stand our own our two feet my friend glory to god so you can't blame your parents glory to god hallelujah number eight we can't even blame the place where we are living do you remember lot's wife lot was living in sodom and gomorrah but he was righteous man living in a righteous place Sodom was an unrighteous place my friend Sodom was not a, a place Way to live, but but the Bible says Lot was he was grieved every day, but 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 Lot did not commit the sin of Sodom. So you can't say the the where I live. That's why I live the way I live. No, my friend, that's a poor excuse of living the condition you are living. So what? San Francisco full of homosexual. I'm, that don't mean that I'm gonna be a homosexual. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you can't blame the place where you live. That's the way you live, my friend. That's a poor excuse because. Hallelujah. The Bible says, come off from among them. Be separate, said Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I receive you unto myself. Wherefore, brethren, I urge you by the, by the mercy of God that you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy as the God, which is a reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be conformed by renewing, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you can't blame the place where you grew up or the place where you live because Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah, but Lot was not transform but he was transformed by the renewing of our mind can you imagine only three escaped sodom and gomorrah it was lot and his two daughter his wife came out but she turned around and turned a pillar of salt because the bible said remember lot's wife why did god say jesus say remember lot's wife because god want us to remember the sin that was in sodom and Gomorrah and Sodom and Gomorrah is consumed. There is no more Sodom, there is no more Gomorrah, it the stone, there is no the vegetation there. The only thing there are stone, my friend. It's a reminder that we can blame nobody for our sin. The Bible say the wages of sin is death, but the gift, my friend, is eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. My friend, I'm telling you, my friend, we must live a righteous life. God wants us to be right, not just on Sunday, not just on 31st of December, but God wants us to be holy 24-7 a day, not just 
because you remember God. We ought to remember God every day of our life. Don't remember God because you're sick now. Don't remember God that the doctor told you you have cancer. Don't remember God because you got a million dollars and now you want to serve God. But my friend, we must remember God all the days of our life. Glory to God. And of a knife reason, we can't even blame the palace. Though they are parting, we can't participate. Look at the three Hebrew boys, Shakrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and even Daniel. Glory to God. They, they was in the palace, my friend, but they didn't participate in the food and they didn't participate in the worship. Glory to God. They worship the invisible God. They didn't worship a statue God. They didn't want to eat the food also. And the Bible said there was more nourish more than people in Babylon. You can be in Babylon, but you're going to be to participate in what Babylon is doing. Babylon might be committing fornication. Babylon must be getting drunk. But I'm not participating in what Babylon is doing. This is a mess. Message for living in this world. We are in the world, but not of the world. Glory to God. What's in the world, preacher? I'm so glad you asked. The Bible said three enemies that are in the world. The lust of the flesh. Glory to God. The crave of the flesh. And the lust of the eye. Everything that I see you want. And the pride of life. You are so Boastful, you are so high minded, you got a degree now, you think you're better than somebody. My friend, we must not lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. And the Bible says the world passed away and the lust thereof. My friend, I'm telling you, my friend, the palace not gonna make me to participate in sin. What does palace do? The palace, they party. Glory to God, the palace, they work worship the idols. But the Bible say when the time came, when the king erupted a statue and they played the music and Shakrat, Meshach and Abednego, they were standing while everybody was worshiping. And he said, we are careful not, we are careful not to answer you of this matter. But our God whom we serve, glory, he going to deliver us out of your hand, O king. And the Bible say they put Shakrat, Meshach and Abednego in a fiery furnace. And the Bible say when the king came out, he saw four one and it looked like the son of God. So I'm telling you, my friend, and the king rose up, my friend, and asked Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that came out of the oven and they would not burn. Daniel, my friend, Daniel, was a one that went, hallelujah, he was a righteous man. He's one of excellent spirit. And they put Daniel in the lion's den, and glory to God, because he was praying three times a day. Hey, glory to God. And when they saw Daniel praying, they put Daniel in the lion's den. And the king couldn't sleep, hallelujah. He came and cried out and said, Oh, Daniel, servant of the living God, thy God whom thou serve dearly, is he able to deliver thee out of the lion's den? Daniel said, Yes, king. My God sent his angel down and rescued me. Oh, glory to God. I'm telling you, my friend, we are responsible for our own sin. Don't let people make you sin against God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The God that we serve, he will keep you. That's why I don't sing the song, we fall down, we fall, and we get my friend. The Bible say that a, a righteous man falls seven times and get up. And then God gave to Jude and said, unto him that able to keep you from falling. Hallelujah. God will keep you from falling. God will keep you from sinning. God will keep you from fornicating. God will keep you from being coming to homosexuality. God will keep you from drinking to get drunk. God will keep you from smoking weed and mess your brain up. I'm talking about the God of Israel. I'm talking about the God of Jerusalem. I'm talking about the God that's our invisible. The God, it will keep you from sinning. 
Hey, glory to God. So we can't blame nobody while we are sinning against God. We can't blame our parents. We can't blame our father. We saw our father drinking. We going to drink. No, poor excuse. We got to look unto God. Look unto Jesus, the author, and the finish of our faith. For the joy that was set before him, endure the cross, despise the shame, and sit right at the right hand of God. The Bible says we are comfort with so great a clouds of witnesses. You can't blame nobody but yourself while you sin against God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we see number 10 for reason now. We can't blame the prince or the prime minister. We must, as a people, stand for righteousness. It, if it costs you your life, Paul say for me, hallelujah, to live is Christ and to die is gain. The Bible say, our righteousness exalt a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. You can't blame the prime minister. You can't blame the prince. Glory to God. It's you, my friend. When God judge you, God going to judge you as an individual. He not going to judge you because the prime minister put an edict out there and say, everybody got to do this. No, my friend, for me and my house, for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. So 10 reasons why people, glory to God, 10 reasons why, my friend, you can blame people, place, thing while you sin. You can't blame nobody but yourself. Glory to God. You can't say because the music was playing it made me sin. No, my friend. The church I go to make me sin. The people I hang around make me sin. That's why the Bible says don't let me hang around fornicators. Hey, glory to God. The Bible says don't hang around weak people because if you hang around weak people, you become weak. But you hang around iron sharpened iron. Oh, glory to God. You can't hang around gossipers. If you hang around gossipers, you're going to start gossiping too. Oh, glory. You can't even hang around liars. You will find yourself lying too. You can't even hang around people that drink beer. If you if you hang around people that drink beer, you will drink beer too. The only way you can hang around people if you're telling them about the kingdom living. Hey, glory to God. But for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. So we can't blame nobody for our sin. It's up to you as an individual to come to reality that for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We can't blame nobody while we're sinning. It's against you, my friend. God going to judge you as an individual when you stand before God. God going to judge you for what you have done, good and evil, in your body. So for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. Don't be like Eve got deceived. Don't be like Adam, father, his wife, and got deceived. Don't be like nobody. You are without excuse before God. You ain't got no excuse why you sin. Hey, glory to God. God don't, people don't have no gun at your head and tell you to drop your panties, drop your boxes. No, my friend. It's evil. You be like Joseph, run out the house or you stand there and do it. God give you a way for escape so you can bear it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Don't let people make you sin against God. Don't listen to their opinions. Don't be opinionated. About people sinning against God. Everybody doing it. I don't mean I'm going to do it. The majority don't count. It's the minority. God say that. Hallelujah in his word. Many are, many are called. But few are chosen. Are you going to be the chosen nation. To stand up for righteous living. Yes I am. Going to stand up for living right. Before God. 